We started this business, my brother and I, it's in my garage. Started getting more and more work, and then we outgrew that. At our tech laboratory in Midlothian, they're making miracles. Toes, partial feet. For 22 years, Mike Halt and his team have helped people replace what's missing. Fingers and partial hands. His patients come from all over. Egypt, Middle East. Today's patient is homegrown. Meet Jennifer Campbell, a mother of two who teaches in Midlothian. Losing my both legs was not as hard as losing my fingers. In 2014, Jennifer Campbell had the flu, which led to sepsis. I was told I would just lose my fingernails. Since then, she's lost both her legs and all 10 fingertips. My mom used to always hold my hands and tell me all the time that I had beautiful hands. Jennifer met with a doctor last year to discuss getting prosthetic fingers. To be told that they didn't want to take me on as a patient because there was not financial benefit for them was, was a low blow. That's right. Jennifer's hands are considered functional, so insurance wouldn't pay. So what would it mean to you if you were able to have those fingertips? Confidence. Confidence. Healing. Um, yeah. Hello. In walks Mike from the back of his lab. You doing, girl? Good. She has no idea just how good it's about to get. We at our tech would like to make you some hands. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it is it is such a blessing to us to see the courage and the strength that you show. Such a gift. Such a gift. Inspired by Jennifer's perseverance. I'm sorry I made you cry. Artec has decided to absorb the cost of making her new hands. Oh no, you can make me cry any day. First stop, the fitting room. This is really an important step. Mike takes an impression of Jennifer's hands with a fresh batch of Gucci. <laughs> That's a technical term, Gucci. It's like sticking your hand in oatmeal. These impressions <laughs> are used to make stone models of Jennifer's hands as they are now. A sculptor will then use those to create detailed wax models. Everybody wants us to be comfortable in their skin. Of the new fingers that will go over Jennifer's hands. That's made into a silicone prosthetic, custom tinted to match Jennifer's skin. I'd like to do this all the time, give these things away, but obviously we can't. But on this day, Mike can. Look at that. That's amazing. Because while prosthetics cost thousands of dollars, some things feeling whole again. You can't put a price tag on. In two weeks, she'll have her hands and life will go on. I'm so grateful. Alicia Lavenger, Channel 8 News.